Good morning, Trailblazers. I'm Daniel Price. And I'm Megana Kuchifudi. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Vanguard News. On today's show, we discuss school spirit, returning fashion trends, and much more. Korean pop bands and solo artists are currently trending among teenagers and young adults. Blakely Jamison spoke to LT students and staff members to learn why this genre has become so popular. Yeah. <sighs> Korean bands gained wide popularity in the past few years with fans across the globe. Some well-known bands such as BTS and Blackpink introduced the genre to international fans during 2019. Shortly after, many individuals began enjoying K-pop music because of the unique voices, dance style, and music videos. I think K-pop is different from other music because it has so many different beats. It's fun to listen to, and I just like the vibe. It did help me through some hard times. Although K-pop has become a global sensation, not all LT students are fans. This is really boring. Most of the K-pop songs they all sound the same. The fans are really annoying, and when I listen to K-pop, I just, I get a bad feeling. The appeal of K-pop is different for each student, with various artists topping their favorite list. Number one is The Boys, number two is Treasure, and three is In Hypen, Blackpink, and Stray Kids. My favorite band by far is NCT. My favorite group is Seventeen, if you couldn't tell by my shirt. I love DPR and um, Luna. In addition to pop music, Korean culture has expanded globally, including through TV shows, movies, technology, and food. I'm Blakely Jamison reporting for Vanguard News. The Stockyard, an on-campus store where students can purchase food and merchandise, is set to open this month. Tanwi Maddie has more on this business operation in teaching DECA students real-world skills. Beginning on September 13th, the stockyard will be open near the rotunda four days a week during Mega Lunch. There are a wide variety of products, including candy, chips, school supplies, and soda that will be available at the stockyard. In the stockyard, we sell a lot of different snacks that the cafeteria doesn't, um, like coffee, we have gum, gushers, a lot of um, small snacks that you can buy for a cheaper price. The Stockyard is run by members of Lebanon Trail's DECA program so that students in this organization are able to obtain real-world business skills that can help them in their future career pursuits. So working in the Stockyard really helps develop our business skills and interpersonal skills because we're really talking to every customer so we kind of see all types of different people and then it kind of teaches us how we have to work with them and then on top of that we add like the financial aspects of how do we actually take care of the money. All profits made from the stockyard help pay for DECA's ability to participate in future competitions this school year. Beginning tomorrow, the stockyard will be open every Tuesday through Friday during Mega Lunch. I'm Tom V. Maddie, reporting for Vanguard TV. Students at Lebanon Trail wear a wide variety of fashion styles. Dean Sainju reveals why trends from previous decades are making comebacks. Lebanon Trail has more than 2,000 students, each one with a unique fashion style. Since the start of quarantine, American society has seen the rise in returning fashion trends, particularly from the late 90s to early 2000s. I would classify it as a, like alt fashion, scene core, like kid core, rave core, etc. I would say casual, something I could wear anywhere. Mine would be more of like a last minute type of option, so it's like streetwear or just last minute. Out of 86 total students, 33 said they liked the 2000s, while only 8 people said they liked the 80s. In the early 2000s, like, people get to be themselves, and um, it describes, like, where you come from and who you are. It's very interesting. Like, people can get creative with their options. I like how they look on me, and I feel the most comfortable in them. Another contributing factor to the previous styles returning is TikTok. TikTok featured influencers donning older trends and making them more current. I'm Dean Sainju, reporting for Vanguard TV. Fall sports seasons are already well underway. Ethan Wu highlights LT athletes competing on the field, court, and courses in this week's Blazer Sports. The LTH's sports teams continue to be successful in recent weeks, returning with more achievements. Additionally, LT's golf and swim team have begun their seasons 
On September 2nd, football had their senior night and walked away scoring a close game of 26-30. Last Thursday, football fell to Sherman High School at the Kirkendall Stadium, but continues to train for upcoming games. Moving from turf to hills under sunrise, cross country continues to be successful in their meets, ranking 3rd place in their September 2nd meet and 5th place in their September 10th meet. Narajko Carney finished 1st place under the 5A Varsity Boys Division in both meets, with times of just over 16 minutes. Last Saturday, cross country finished 19th place overall at the Lovejoy Cross Country Festival, Narajko Carney finished in 7th place with a time of 15 minutes and 48 seconds in the Varsity Elite Boys 5000m run. And Nathaniel Gohardo finished in 3rd with a time of 16 minutes and 53 seconds in the Varsity Boys 5000m run. Moving on to the court, LT's volleyball team improved their record to a 13 win to 7 lose ratio. The Blazers were victorious against Creekview, Panther Creek, Emerson, and most recently, Heritage with a final score of 3-1 to one last Friday. This week, football will face off against Frisco High School in the Toyota Stadium on Thursday at 7 p.m. Volleyball will play against Memorial in the LT Main Gym on Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. and Centennial on Friday at 5.30 p.m. in the Centennial Gyms. Tennis will go against Centennial on its courts this Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. And Cross Country will compete in the Brosball Lissles E Invitational Meet at North Lakes Park at 6.30 a.m. I'm Ethan Moo reporting for Vanguard TV. That's all we have for this week, Blazers. Thank you for watching Vanguard News. I'm Megana Kuchipudi. And I'm Daniel Price. Remember to have a good day, Blazers.